Thank you for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. Thank you for being part of this channel. Now, I want to get to this. I want to get to April in the tropics. We are now two months away from the start of the hurricane season. April, while there's usually not a lot of activity, it's kind of our first feel of, hey, hurricane season is getting closer because sometimes there is stuff to watch out there. Typically, it develops in the central Atlantic, which is good away from land. We do not root for storms on this channel, but I track them. I do this channel for safety. So let me get you to this. The most recent April system, that wasn't too long ago. Back in 2017, you see here in a couple different satellite shots. This is called the infrared. It kind of tells you, at least gives you a better feel with the uh, colors on it, uh, just the cloud tops, the structures of it. But either way, this was Tropical Storm Arlene back in 2017. And you see the United States here. My friends in eastern Canada over here, Bermuda right here, and this was out there in the uh, central Atlantic, even the northern portions of the Atlantic, for several several days, and it was a tropical storm. So this, uh, again, about five, six years ago, and the winds on it were pretty strong. I'll get to that in just a moment. Now, here's a look at some of the months outside of hurricane season. I mentioned hurricane season starts June 1st. Now, January, February, March, we have next to nothing as far as tropical development out there, March quietness. Only one name system or one system. I don't even think it was named. I think that was back in the top of my head. Don't quote me on this. I think it was back in 1908. So one system in March. April, though, a little bump. And of course, May does typically get active at least uh, 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 once every other year. There's a system that does develop in May. And, and that's just about a month away now. In December, on the flip side of the season, also uh, sometimes there's a system out there. But April, it starts to tick up. Occasionally, we get things spinning out there. So watching that. So in all, at least as far as uh, what we have on record over the last 100 to about 125 years or so, seven tropical systems in the month of April. So it does happen. Two became tropical storms. So uh, it, four were tropical depressions, so uh, not named systems. Two were tropical storms. One was a subtropical storm. The last two, and again, the, the tropical storms, uh, Anna, Anna, I can't remember how we pronounced it. I think it might have been uh, Anna, well, but that was near Bermuda back in 2003. Again, not a retired name. We've seen that popping up in the list since. In Arlene, as I just showed you, back in 2017, and winds on that got to about 50 miles per hour or 80 kilometers an hour. So occasionally you do get it. Now this is what happens and this is what I'm watching next. Now this time of year as we go through the month of April, you get the fronts and this is kind of the live imagery we have. This is what's going on right now. You see how relatively quiet we are across the Atlantic. By the way, I'll get to the forecast in just a second. But we get these fronts that come off of the United States, Canada, out of the Gulf of Mexico and occasionally a little spin up may break free and that's why over parts of the Atlantic we may get something developing but pretty soon I'm going to be watching out here in uh, especially as we get into May off the coast of Africa now usually we don't see big things rolling off the coast of Africa May and June but we start to get our first tropical waves the pattern switches now last year I think it was May 9th that's when we had our first tropical wave roll off the coast of Africa. So that kind of tells you that, hey, we're getting into the swing of things and things are starting to get a little more active out there. So about a month away before we could see our first tropical wave actually coming off the coast of Africa. But in the meantime, I'll be watching out to see if we have any spin-ups along the old fronts. Now, uh, historically, this is where kind of things uh, add up as far as tropical activity. Again, May, sometimes you get a name system every other year. June, of course, the season starts, and you get a couple name systems June and July, but really August, September, and October, that's where you get this big uh, mountain. That's usually when you get the bulk of storms, about 84% of all named systems happen in August, September, or October, especially early October. But we are getting closer, of course. So I'm gonna be watching these old fronts to see if we get any of those spins out there in the open waters of the Atlantic as we go through the month of April. And then, of course, watching out for the first tropical waves coming off of Africa in May. The names on the list are Lean, Brett, Cindy, Don, Emily, Franklin, and Gert. These are the names. Now, occasionally I'll mention some other names. Well, on the Pacific side and just different areas of the world, there's different lists. But this is for the Atlantic Basin. Uh, so with that said, that is the Atlantic Ocean, 
the Caribbean, and the Gulf of Mexico. This is the list for the storm names, and let's hope we don't get too far down the list, and let's just hope we don't have anything too aggressive. Sometimes tropical systems could be great in the sense that they could bring some much-needed rain into spots, but you know we don't need anything too aggressive. Now, let me dive into the forecast and what we could expect today. And Yes, it did work out. Trinidad and Tobago, thank you for the comments. We did have some light showers, drizzling spots last night, so right on cue that happened. Keep me posted today as far as uh, what happened where you are elsewhere, spotty showers possible. Jamaica, my friends in the Cayman Islands, Haiti, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, Cuba, even the Southern Bahamas, Turks and Caicos, one or two. St. Kitts and Nevis, Montserrat, Anguilla, uh, St. Martin, we could get a quick little uh, shower popping up. Now, this is tomorrow. I want to take you through the weekend. This is our Saturday at 3 o'clock. There's an old front there. And still, Barbados, St. Lucia, for example, could see a passing shower. Still the elevated chance of rain, not a washout, but Trinidad and Tobago, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, quick little pass passing shower. Guyana and Suriname, not a lot. This is by Sunday. Hit or miss shower. Martinique, uh, Dominica over toward uh, Guadalupe, Barbados. Again, a quick little passing shower. Western Caribbean, we are drier. Guatemala, Belize, not much action. Honduras, El Salvador, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, into Colombia, passing shower chance. And again, Aruba, not too much. Let me break down some forecasts for you, my friends. In the Cayman Islands, uh, you can see again today, a passing shower. Now that 40% chance is there. Not a washout, just again, a few of those showers rolling in because of the breeze. Winds east at 40 kilometers an hour. So there is that chance of some passing showers, both the Cayman Islands and my friends in uh, Jamaica today, 40% chance. Otherwise, if you don't get any rain, the mix of sun and clouds, 30 degrees, and those winds will be out of the east. St. Kitts and Nevis today, winds northeast at 40 kilometers an hour. A few quick showers are possible. I just showed you that, a 20% chance. Some of the gustier winds uh, around in Trinidad and Tobago, that forecast holding the elevated chance of rain. The best chance will be in our southern zone. So again, around Trinidad and south, uh, over toward even northern Venezuela, Guyana, a better chance of getting some rain. Let me know in the comments. Always curious. Of course, I'm watching it as we go through the uh, day, but I love to hear from me and let you uh, hear what you got going on where you are. And in uh, Curacao for today, again, the rain chance about 20%, including uh, Bonaire over toward Aruba today. Breezy though, winds east at 40 kilometers an hour, and that's why we can see one or two showers. And that'll be the case this weekend. Rain chance about 20%. So overall, the higher chance of rain today, as I covered for you, just those spotty showers at times as we get into the weekend. I'll continue to monitor the wildfires, the smoke out there, and anything going on with any earthquakes. I'm checking in on that constantly, so keeping an eye on that for you. We've got two months until hurricane season, and by the way, if the seaweed is impacting you, again, head over to uh, Earth QC to get a full update on that. I posted that on what's going on with that seaweed and that new seaweed belt. I've got that again on YouTube over on Earth QC. I'll post a link to that in the comments. Until then, until we see each other again, I hope you have a wonderful weekend.